Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Trek Online. My name is Heather and I get the honor and privilege of hosting Trek Online. It is out of the Vineland Missionary Church in Vineland, Ontario, so we are so glad that you could join us tonight. The last few weeks we have started a whole new series which is Epic Teachings of the Bible and we have been talking about the fruit of the Spirit. So far we've talked about love and joy, so tonight we're going to be talking about peace. At Trek, every week we would split into three different age groups. Hop, which is junior kindergarten to senior kindergarten. Skip, which is grades one to three. And Jump, which is grades four to six. So tonight, I want you guys to each take a little bit of time and talk to those around you and let them know what you think peace means. What does peace mean to you? And what does peace mean when it comes to the Bible? So when I say go, you guys are gonna Talk about what you think peace means. All right, one, two, three, go. Well, I hope you guys had a chance to get a little bit of discussion in, and we're going to be talking about what peace means in just a little tiny bit in our Bible time. But first, we are going to stand up and sing some songs together. So if you guys want to stand on up, maybe do a little bit of stretching, get ready to do some actions, and sing along. So I hope you enjoy. Of the spirit's not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. If you wanna be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. You wanna be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. You wanna be a watermelon? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit is not a lemon. If you wanna be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a cherry. The fruit of the spirit is not a cherry. If you wanna be a cherry, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Okay, everybody knows that grapes come in bunches, so everybody get in big bunches. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. You wanna be a grape? You might as well hear it You can't be a fruit of the spirit Cause the fruit is a love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control.
You don't have to worry. You don't have to ever be afraid. There will come a day when hope is here to stay. For we have seen His glory, the Savior full of truth and grace. Jesus reigns in the end. His name, the light of God turns night to day forever. Jesus reigns. No more hurt and pain. Sin will fade away when Jesus reigns. When Jesus reigns. A few announcements for you guys this week. Number one, sadly our VBC program for this summer has been cancelled but we'll be doing the Mystery Island theme next year. So you guys already know a whole year in advance what the theme is gonna be, so you can get all your beach stuff ready to go. A second announcement is that Father's Day is coming up. So if you have a video that you'd like to send in of saying maybe just Happy Father's Day or something that you love and appreciate about your dad, we would love to have those videos and we're gonna have a little video put together for our Sunday morning service that happens on Father's Day. So if you want to send those my way, I will add them to a little video and you guys can enjoy that as well. I love seeing and getting the videos that you guys send in each week of what you've been up to. So again, if you would like to send a video in or maybe a picture of what you've been doing, you can email it here and I would add it into our video next week. Well, now we're going to take a look and see what you guys have been up to. So enjoy these pictures of what your friends have been doing with their families. week at Trek we would travel to a different room. We had a games room, a craft and snack room, and a bible room. So tonight we are going to head off to our games room. So I hope you enjoy this little interactive game. Here we are at one of the best roller coasters in the world. Oh my goodness, I am so ready. Are you guys ready? This is going to be great. All right. Okay, our lap bars are down, we're all buckled in, we're safe and sound. Now comes the first drop. Okay, we're going up the hill. Scary. Everybody, arms, arms up, arms up. Neil, put your arms up, come on, you can do it. Okay. All right, here comes the first drop. Everybody scream. Ah! Repeat after us. Let's 
Jesus. Ah! Ah! Whoa. Uh, this is the boring part. Everybody pretend you're bored. Uh, whatever. Oh, I'm having a lot of good, I'm having a good time here. Let's, let's, let's strike a smile. Here we okay. go. Okay. Hey. Ah. Whoa, Whoa. You, you caught a bug in your mouth. Mmm, tasty. Oh, wow. Chocolate flavor. Everybody, catch a bug. And now scream. Ah! Repeat after us. Say, I love this roller coaster. I love this roller coaster. And you love this roller coaster. And you love this roller coaster. And, roller coaster. and I am ready. I am ready. Hands up. Now side to side. Go crazy. Hold tight. Hands up. Here comes the tunnel. Everybody close your eyes. It's so dark. Oh, oh, my favorite part of the ride, the photo. All right, let's pose. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get an eight by 10. I think I'm gonna get a keychain. Oh no, here comes the drop. Everybody, scream! Ah! Repeat after us. Again, Brian. Okay. If you guys want to grab a seat, we are going to start our Bible time. So this week we are going to continue learning about the fruit of the Spirit. We have learned about love and joy, and this week we are learning about peace. No, not peas. Peace. And not that kind of peace. Peace that comes from God. And so we're going to take a look at a story in the Bible where a man experienced peace that goes beyond our understanding. And that is found in the book of Daniel. And in Daniel 6, we are going to learn about a man named Daniel who was thrown into the lion's den because he was so faithful to God. And while he was in the lion's den, an angel came and shut the mouths of the lions. So we are going to take a look at our Bible story tonight a little bit deeper. So enjoy this video and I'll see you after. Daniel in the lion's den. This is Daniel. Oh, hey. Who was a Jewish man who was taken to Babylon when he was very young. Mm -hmm. Daniel loved God and followed God's rules. He talked to God three times a day and asked God for help often. Daniel served in the Babylonian king's court for many years. Yeah, I know him. And under many kings. Hey, Daniel. Daniel always proved himself to be more capable than all the other court officials. I hear a lot of things. Well, every time. Daniel was serving under King Darius, and because of his great abilities, the king made plans to place him in charge of the entire empire. Wow, okay. The other court officials searched for some fault in Daniel, but they couldn't find anything wrong with him. He was faithful, responsible, and completely trustworthy. Ah, wait. The court officials realized the only way to get at Daniel would be to challenge his faith. Come on. So they went to King Darius. <laughs> Excuse me, your majesty. And advised him to make a law that for the next 30 days, any person who prays to anyone except King Darius will be thrown into the lion's den. I like it. King Darius signed this law, and once a Babylonian king signed a law, it could not be overruled. When Daniel learned of this law, he went home and knelt down, as he always did, to pray in his room with the windows open towards Jerusalem. 
He prayed three times a day, just as he always had done, giving thanks to God and asking for his help. The officials went to Daniel's house and found him praying. Gotcha! They went to the king and reminded him of the law. I remember. Well... Then they said that Daniel had been found praying to God three times a day. What? When the king heard this, he was very upset. Get over here. And he spent the whole day trying to think of a way to save Daniel. Wait, what? By that evening, the court officials came back to the king <coughs> and reminded him that no law signed by the Babylonian king could be overruled. So at last, the king gave orders for Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. The king said to him, May your God, who you serve faithfully, rescue you. Then the lion's den was sealed shut with Daniel inside. The king spent the night fasting and couldn't sleep. Then very early in the morning, the king hurried to the lion's den. He called out, Hey Daniel! Was your God able to rescue you from the lions? And Daniel answered, Long live the king! My God sent his angel to shut the lion's mouths so that they would not hurt me, for I have been found innocent in his sight. The king was overjoyed and ordered that Daniel be taken out of the lion's den. Then the king ordered the men who had schemed against Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den as punishment. Daniel was safe. There was not a scratch on him, for he trusted in God. Although I have not had the same experience as Daniel and have been thrown into a lion's den or have been even remotely close to a lion other than at the zoo, I am so thankful that I have been able to experience the peace that comes from God. And as we grow in our relationship with Jesus and we understand him better, we get to experience that peace in situations. I've experienced really, really sad things. I've experienced hard things. And even though those feelings don't go away, there is something at the very core of who I am that's deep, deep down inside me that is a peace that goes beyond our own understanding. And that actually is in the Bible, that we can experience a peace that may not even make sense, but it's such a big peace that comes from God. And I am so thankful for that peace. So I pray that as you guys grow in your relationship with Jesus, as you learn more about who he is, about his love, and has, as the fruit of the Spirit grow in you, that you guys would experience peace in situations and recognize that that peace comes from knowing and understanding who God is. Well, guys, I'm going to pray for you before we head off for another week. God, thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for the fruit of the Spirit. And as we learn to know more about you, that that can grow in our lives and we can experience all the things that we have been talking about. God, I pray that we would be boys and girls that experience your peace, a peace that goes even beyond our own understanding and that it would just carry us through things that are hard, maybe even things that are easy, God, that we would just know and recognize the peace that we have in our lives because of who you are. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, guys, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye. Say welcome back. This week we are going to be talking about that is hop, which is junior blah, that you guys would <coughs> So today we're going to be talking about peace. Uh, not that kind of peace, but 